Okay, girls. We're here at a rooftop hive in Shaw. the Shaw area of D.C. That's all we're going to tell you. It's about 50 degrees out. The bees are bald inside the hive. This hive has got a bit of a mite issue. And so we're here doing what's called a sugar shake. And basically shaking powdered sugar over the hive. Time to make the donuts. What the bees will do is the sugar will fall on their bodies and they will attempt to clean themselves of the sugar and in doing so we'll also clean off the mites that will fall down to the bottom of the hive and this particular hive has a screened bottom board made by Brushy Mountain Beef, uh, Bee Supply or Brushy Mountain Bee Farms and those mites will fall through that screened bottom board uh, at which point they will not be able to get back in the hive. That's good? Yeah. It looks like it looks like Christmas down there. I know. It does. Okay, girls, clean yourselves up. Now this is store-bought uh, confectioner sugar. Um, some would say that we shouldn't use store-bought confectioner sugar because it does have a little bit of cornstarch in it. In my view, it doesn't have enough to worry about, and any uh, the bees will clean that out of the hive, uh, and they'll eat the extra sugar that's here. Um, as part of the sugar shake. You do too. Um, if we had a bottom board, this this screen bottom board also has a, a mite count uh, board that goes with it. Um, we could we could count the number of mites that fall through. Uh, however, that would require probably more work than any of us want to do on this on this cool morning. We're here at Old City Greens, where we had, um, we started out with the mother hive, which is this taller one, that uh, we harvested a little bit of honey out of earlier this season, but it did swarm quite a few times, and both swarms we were able to house in brand new boxes. This box here on the left, and this one on the right, and we're not seeing a lot of activity right now because it is only about 50 degrees out. Um, this is for my own edification, the, um, the hive in the middle, the mother hive, <coughs> Uh, has a pretty good cluster in there and uh, is pretty heavy, so I feel pretty strongly that that will be that will survive uh, the winter, uh, and we'll have some bees next next spring. This swarm here uh, is very healthy, and the hive itself is full of uh, full of resources. So I think this one too will survive the winter. And then finally, this hive over here has a very small cluster in it, um, and it's very light. It's uh, unlikely that that. Uh, that hive will survive. Uh, but that's okay. I think uh, we can always replenish it with bees in the spring. And uh, to have two hives that are in such good, good, such good shape out of three um, going into winter is, uh, I would call that, a lucky break. Now we're over at Old City Greens. We're looking at some of their, uh, they have three hives, one that was the mother hive and it had some swarms. This uh, hive looks a little bit in trouble, just a very small cluster. Um, I doubt it will make it through the winter. <laughs>